It's like, Wilfred, get out of my head! <laughs> That's so silly. Take these trousers off and toss my salad. What? Do it, you little whore. Get your tongue in there and play with yourself. That's it. I'm done. What are you talking about? I'm talking about love making so passionate she wakes up the next morning with a limp. Bubbles! God damn it, Ryan. <laughs> this is Dr. Bangashan. I need a doctor, not tech support. Oh, Ryan, I've got to save her! Ow! You gotta feel how soft my tits are. Do you like that? You bet you do. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> he likes me. <laughs> Will, get off. Get off. I'm trying to. Is it not unethical to deserve the woman you love in her time of need? Me. No, me. Bro. <laughs> my heart, Ryan. You broke my heart. Let Bear play bass if he's such an Bear expert. Bear is just giving constructive criticism. Don't take it personally. Well, it doesn't get much more personal than I play bass like a busted vagina. Uh, look, I appreciate the offer, but I'd rather eat possum ass than be your desk monkey. Give me the phone. Sure, we can work something out later. Once Tyler goes to sleep. And besides, a little Betty Bunny just got a Brazilian. Because you're an asshole, Spencer. How am I an asshole? Because you you rev your motorcycle at all hours of the night. You sprayed the Patel statue, and you leave your damn trash cans in front of my damn garage all... If you think I'm just gonna stand by and watch you... Bubbles! One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I need your... What? I need you to pee in this cup now. It's not how I expected this conversation to go. Oh my god. The stench. Wilfred, you can't pee here. Why not? Everyone else is. That's weird, right? Woohoo! All right, as I was saying, you can't treat these people like bloody pieces in some twisted game of chess. Don't you even think about it. Ryan, I swear to God, if you blow one more bubble! Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? I'm supposed to put a ring on that finger? Everything on the island is real. The rest is an illusion. What island? Oh, forget that last bit. Wilfred! Shh! Smoke monster! <laughs> Kristen's always busting balls. Does she ever try just licking them? Try prying twin boys out of a tight little Asian gal. She wasn't Asian American, Ryan. She was real Asian. I had to do so much slicing and dicing down there. It looked like a goddamn Benihana. You pushed out. I did not push out. Sometimes when I look at you, I can almost see a giant tampon string hanging out of you. Hey, don't be so uptight. Everybody masturbates, right, Jana? Uh, I have a boyfriend. She totally masturbates. A gift? What you're giving me is a sociopathic porn craze pain in the ass. How are we supposed to spot Kristen with all this smoke? Use the wipers. That's better. What's that? Bit of squirrel? Gross! Damn, this shit gets me rock hard. You too, right? Uh... uh yeah, I guess. Having fun, Ryan? Just another lazy Sunday, watching porn with your drunk, rock-hard neighbor. Don't leave me in here with all these losers. But look at the hair on this punch and the pug. I'm so ugly, I'm cute. No, you are ugly. Look at this genius, chasing his tail around in circles. It's not going anywhere. What the? I'm not an animal. Then be a man. For once in your life, be a man and shit in that boot. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, silly? I'm making a statement about corporate greed and the depth of selflessness through interpretive movement painting. This is already online, isn't it? The only other name on here is Scrappy-Doo. That's sick, Ryan. He's only 10 months old. What, are you into kitties? Is that your thing? I like an aggressive man. It makes me feel so small and vulnerable. Like a little bunny. A bad little bunny. So, uh, you said you were good. I've seen more aggressive ball playing in the airport men's room. Is this wise? 
It's been 20 years. The world has changed. High def TV and other things. Well, she hasn't been in a coma. We have cable. That's nice, but that's not what you did last night. What do you mean? White bunny. Wong Ho. Can I get you something? Orange juice, medical attention? These people are ready to die. Hope is the last thing they need. A coffin is the last thing they need. Up top. My nose is a very exquisite and sensitive organ. And right now, it is currently smelling fear. Fear, sour milk, and human shit. You mean me? No, I just showered. I'm crazy clean back there. Looking for this? Ah! It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Andy, did you do your homework yet? Bye, Wilfred. Suck my dick! You want me to be excited, Ryan? Buy me a new bong. Or better yet, a vaporizer. But a bone? It's like giving a basketball to a black guy. I didn't know you that well. You were homeless. And I'm just going to come out and say it. You were kind of a prostitute. Can I help you find something? Uh, let's see. Pork rinds, onions, and a 12-pack of Visine. I was looking for a glass, but now I'm looking for your weed. Wine? Thank you. Nice. Wow, this is, this is good wine. Uh, it was Fatty Arbuckle's favorite. Chemistry, baking, and ping pong. I guess my only question is, how were you not blowjob to death by the entire cheerleading squad? Uh, I got a job as a segment yeah, producer for Channel 13 News. It's a big step up for me, Mark Wyatt. Although I'm doing mostly ball. pieces right now. I'm ball, 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 ball. Wilfred, what's wrong? Back to back to back to back to back orgasm. That's what's wrong. I'm hanging up. Can you ever forgive me? Can you forgive me for calling you crazy? Oh, it's okay. I am, you know, little. Oh, shit, man. And if you ever see his face again, you're gonna slash his family's throats in their sleep and then go to their funerals and slaughter everyone who shows up. Oh, that's gold. Say that right. Hmm. A whimsical? Light-bodied bouquet, crisp, with a hint of peach, and a lingering rotten egg finish. Exquisite. Ruby left a suicide note. She did? Are you sure it's in human handwriting? I swear that's not a racial thing. But first, we must cross over to the other side. The other side of the room? Yeah, I dropped my guts over there. That's gonna reek. Sorry about that. The hell is your guitar doing on the steps? I don't know. Oh yeah, I found your guitar in the basement. I left it on the steps. Is it broken? No, I think it's just out of tune. Uh After everything I did to you, I will never understand humans. This is the reason why we will ultimately defeat you. Don't even think about it! Are you crazy? That's one possibility. Yeah, that's the little bitch who stole my girlfriend and my toaster oven. You banned my mom. I pretty much burned through my savings. Might have to get a job. Hey, jobs are for immigrants. Four brothers. Wow. Mom was pretty consistent. <laughs> and after spitting out all those boys, it must have been pretty tricky for you just to switch it up for you, huh? Did you eat my sandwich? Oh, I get it. Because I'm a dog, right? I can only imagine what you'd say if I was black. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Indian chief! <laughs> that was a little racist, but it was fun. Where are you? I'll never tell. <laughs> and if you think you'll find me, then you vastly underestimated the depth of my brilliantly... Oh, hey, Ryan. You <laughs> son of a bitch. How is that an insult? I've never understood that. You're a good boy. You come when you're called. You don't rub your ass on the carpet. She's your sister, mate. She loves you. Leave the bitch dry. I do not have a problem with the post office. Wilfred does. He's setting me up. He's manipulating all of you because he's trying to steal my mother. Whoa. When it comes to me and you, the door is open.